Welcome. In this video, I'm going to guide you how we can use Substack. The first thing that we are going to do, we are going to create an account right here. Get started. Now, if you already own the account, guys, completely skip this step. So here, sign up in easy mode. We will never post something without asking. So you can connect with Twitter or just skip it. Type your email address. I'm going to copy this one right here. Type email agree and continue then i'm going to change my photo right here i recommend doing the same i'm going to add baby yoda because i love mandalorian your type name marcus tonelius i love writing no i don't really this is just youtube tutorial okay continue now let's uh, see, create your publication. So publication name is going to be Marcus Newsletter. What's about? And again, Mandalorian TV show, let's say. An Easter X in Mando. Marcus newsletter. Okay. And then you're going to have like web URL here. And this is going to be my web URL that I'm going to use. You can of course rename it or change it. Let's press continue again. And then I need to complete the captcha and continue. Now bring your first MailChimp, uh, Dino letter, Patreon and more. So here you would simply like add your MailChimp list that you have. And that's pretty much it. So I would click here, select CSV file if you have one or just click skip if you don't have one. All said, head on over to Marcus Tonelli's Substack and tell the world about my newsletter. Let's do this. So voila, coming soon. This is like what we can actually find here. Now comes the fun part, the introduction or interface. Uh, adding a newsletter, working with newsletter is really simple on Substack. So on the left, Top click, you would see Marcus newsletter. Then what do you have going to have like coming soon? This is a Marcus newsletter, a newsletter about Mandalorian TV show and Easter eggs in Mando email. And what I can do is to step, tell everyone right here. I can put a heart here and I can simply share it with Facebook, LinkedIn, Reddit email. So let's say email or I can simply copy the link. And let me just show you how it looks like. Then we will go on the top right and I'm going to show you how we can add a new post. So this is how it looks like and people, well, how it works. Someone is going to write an email here and they would add like subscribe. So I would add it right here and subscribe. Voila. Now I'm going to subscribe on Marcus newsletter right here because I would could find the posts here right so what you have to do is just easily go to top right and add a new post so click new post here and right now i can update the email template if i have one i can simply edit it. i will show you how we can do it but other than that we can just write here so i'm going to enter a title mandalorian ending and then guys, in the end of the video, I'm going to show you the examples of other Substack accounts. Mandalorian ending. Yes. By me. And then I would write here. Or like, did you see the ending and what actually happened on the screen? And I could easily write a post here. I can make it italic. I could toggle count font if I want to. I can even add or remove link to so the ending. So I can add a link here and enter the URL. So let's say that I would choose Mandalorian ending. Copy it. Enter the URL. Link it. Then I can insert image here. 
So let's say that I'm going to add baby Yoda. And I can make it smaller if I want to. I can delete the image, edit the caption. So plenty of things here, what you can do. So this is how you can add an image. So when I'm going to edit here, see like this. So in the, where is your cursor? There you will insert the image. So be careful about that, okay? Then you can also look at this, underline it or, okay. This didn't went as we wanted. So this works as an insert horizontal rule, like this. And that's how we can do it. Then you're going to see also buttons here as a subscribe now, leave a comment, share the post. So I can add just enter here, subscribe now. Or I can add leave a comment, share this post, share Marcus newsletter or custom button that I can make up. So that's how we do it. So what actually happened, what I can do, I can simply add a Mandalorian image here. And then let's imagine that I want to add a button of leave a comment down below. Okay. And that's pretty much it. Or subscribe now. Or I would add buttons, leave a comment and subscribe now. Then I have a style here that I can change of the, if it's going to be heading one. So if, if I have like, did you see, I can have the heading one or heading two, heading three, or even more heading four, five, six, or have it as normal. Then you can also add bullet list, order the list. You can add a blog quote or you can add a footnote. So this is how you can write post. What do you have to do then? You, you're going to see that on a bottom, you're going to see it's a draft next to the publish. You would see settings. So when I'm going to click on the settings here, this post is for everyone. If I'm going to have paid subscriptions, I can click paid subscriptions, allow comments for everyone or no one order comments by top ranked first. This is the social preview that people will find. This is the URL of it. This is the sent test email, how it look like. And this is the draft link. And then when you have it, what you have to do, you just click on the bottom right publish. And that's how simple it is. Again, this post is for everyone, allow comments from everyone. You can have it no one and send email to everyone, send to everyone now, who is your subscriber. Voila, this is how I do it. And as you can see now, when we have it, uh, when we have it and someone is going to click on it, let me just show you. First thing first, when I would go on the dashboard on the top right, and then we will also check how the email is looking like. Top right, click dashboard. You would find all, uh, all the data here. You can create no post, new post, or you can add a new thread here. Then also next to the post, you would have subscribers. And as you can see, like I added a subscriber in my Substack. So when I click next to the post on a subscriber, I could find when I would scroll down below the email subscription type free. Then I would see also, also total email lists and subscribers. So you can see clearly here next to the subscribers, you would find also stats like website visitors this month and source data emails. And then the next thing are settings. So publication name, one line description, edit tags. So about, let's say Mandalorian, there will be my tag about page. You can edit the welcome email here. So when they sign up, what kind of email they will get. 
also about page you can edit it and welcome email too so this is the about page for your potential subscribers this is the email subject that you would send as a welcome email so when i sign up look at this when i sign up with my email that i want to subscribe for myself i would easily look at this marcus tonelius marcus newsletter thank you for signing for my newsletter and this is the this is the thing that i get and you can like actually edit that you can edit the welcome email right here in settings so i would definitely recommend doing it and edi edi ed just editing editing it as you want save now the next thing is publication logo cover photo and receive email replies to your post so when someone is going to actually reply to you you would have it in your email too email address for rss feeds twitter account import you can also edit the style here for your publication theme so i would click edit a theme here and you can see clearly so layout speed of posts or default you can change this is like the home page then I can have feed of posts. I can simply change the web background and the color of it. Then I can change the accent right here. So this is the color of the buttons and everything. And then you're going to see the title and body. So this is how we can also uh, change and how we can design your own page in Substack. So I would click here, set themes, just change whatever titles and body to whatever font you want. And that's pretty much it, how we do it. You can also preview how it looks like on email. And when I'm going to change a color right here, I can change the accent here or welcome page, see subscribe, set themes here. Okay, so now we can see how we can import your email list here. Set up paid subscriptions, just connect with Stripe and that's pretty much it how we do it. Now, when I would click here, I want to show you how it actually looks like when, when you send the email. So we, could, we wrote it the email. Mandalorian ending, that's what we wrote. And now when I would go to my second email, And I would click, look at this. This is how the newsletter looks like. I can click here and leave a comment. Amazing, thank you. Ah. So we need to look in here. Look at this, write a comment amazing so someone is going to write a comment and you need they need to create a profile here and then of course they can like it or they can share it they can comment it they can like it or they can share it somewhere on a facebook linkedin email reddit hacker news pinterest so this is pretty much it how it works i mean like using substack is not hard so when you would come here to the dashboard welcome to marcus newsletter Substack. Oh, look at this. I sign out, so I need to sign in again here. So then you need to like log in again. Another thing that I wanted to show you guys. This is when I'm going to log in. I'm going to show you how we can easily and simply find. Okay, I'm going to get login to Substack. Click here to login. Okay, here I am. 
So search for writers, publications. So let's say I'm going to find so social media. And look at this, like this one here. Type your email or let me read first. So we would have it like this when someone would click on it. And look at this, how they how it looks like. I can click on it and this is how they write it really simply. They have a text here. Then they have image and then comments. And people can simply join here. And this is the same thing that you can achieve with your. So when I'm going to have Substack here and open it again, I can simply go to write to dashboard. This is my post that I would have. I can simply add a new thread or a new post that you would send to others. I can simply see how it looks like right here. About and this is about your newsletter. And you can set up the profile here. Okay. Okay, I mean, we already have this. So I get, I would edit profile. And you can change that. Then when you go top right, you can simply click account settings. And you would have like your own publications. This is my first one, or I would have different one publications. You can delete the account, etc. So I hope I give you some kind of value here, what you can do and what you can achieve with Substack. Substack is an amazing tool that you can use. And that's pretty much it. So if you're going to have any questions about Substack, this was a Substack tutorial, how to Substack, Substack's beginner's guide. And yeah, goodbye. See ya.